but you learn after you think you know it all that counts in this world, I think. <laughs> David, we are honored for you to be here. Okay, take it away. Tell us the vision. I mean, we know that you love, you've been a massive inventor literally your whole life. You've had a passion for health, a passion for people, a passion for inventing new technologies to, to reverse aging, right? Tell us, tell us more. Uh, well, first, how about happy Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah. It might be a nice time to just stop for a second and say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And uh, it is such a wonderful time of year to be grateful and thankful for everything that we have in our lives, all of our loved ones. And, you know, they say when you're filled with gratitude, it calms the nervous system and uh, reduces inflammation and oxidative stress. And of course, you know, it helps you live longer. And uh, that's what we all want to do, right? We want to live longer, happier, and more youthful lives. So uh, let's say, well, you know, um, you may not never have heard this story before, uh, but my uh, uh, heritage is that on my mom's side, um, we have uh, we have in our family tree people from Italy uh, primarily and uh, some folks from Ireland. And on my father's side, it's all Germany. And when I was growing up, I re remember uh, spending time at my grandfather's house and he was from Northern Italy. And all of my Italian relatives looked horrible. Uh, they looked very old. Uh, you know, they were smokers, drinkers, they didn't exercise, take care of themselves. And I thought, uh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, this is what, you know, somehow making this connection out of, you know, six, seven years old, this is what's coming down the line. And uh, I thought, uh, th this is not an option. I I'm not going to end up this way. And uh, so from a very early age, uh, I was thinking along the lines of longevity. And then when I was a teenager, um, I was watching the Merv Griffin show and Dirk Pearson was on as a guest. And of course, he wrote the book uh, Life Extension with Sandy Shaw. And I bought that book and I read it several times from front to back and immediately was hooked on this idea that we could extend lifespan um, and, uh, you know, stay younger also in the process. And uh, also, you know, I joined... A, a prayer group when I was maybe about 13 years old and in studying the Bible, um, I tend to believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God and that every word is there precisely. And it, as it turns out, mathematically, that's true. Uh, and you know that because you and I have had that discussion, right, in, in quite some detail. So, so this is all to say that we should, in fact, uh, analyze uh, th those ages in the Old Testament of people living, you know, 700, 800, 900 years old, we, sh we should take that as fact and then try to understand how would that be possible. So the studies that we do here um, started out with uh, planaria, hydractinia, uh, lobsters, ants, and looking at how do these species defeat aging? What is the uh, biochemical or the biophysical process? And uh, over, over a period of many, many years, uh, that's resulted in over 80 patents. It'll be by next year, over well over 100 patents in stem cell and regenerative medicine. And uh, we've made some, what I, what I think are pretty remarkable discoveries in looking at these natural codes that uh, that allow us to uh, improve mitochondrial function, improve stem cell activity, improve the speed at which people heal, and uh, maybe even the best natural steroid that ever existed. Uh, and uh, and uh, we're we're touching we're touching on things that make an extraordinary difference in in quality of life because uh, we're not covering up symptoms. We're really getting at the root of why people are aging, why people can heal, and uh, the natural biomimetic processes that we can tap into to uh, augment human abilities in a, in a very natural way.
David, you had me at natural because I'm over here and I'm always like food first, everything natural that we can do, we should be doing it right. I always say we can always resort to the drugs. We can always resort to that. Don't worry. They'll always give you the drugs if you want them. Um, but we should always be trying natural first. Now, something that I find to be so interesting is just because I've been in health and nutrition for so long, I think it's just interesting to me how quickly the phototherapy patches work. So for everybody on here who's not really familiar with phototherapy, and it's funny because I have, I just sit at my desk with books. Like I've got healing is voltage. I've got the body electric. I've got, you know, of course, of course, the uh, Picard's book. I've got new John Harmon book, right? I've got all these incredible books, but I think most people are not used to the world of light. And I always tell people, you know, I feel like everybody's stomachs are not what they used to be. Everybody's livers and kidneys are not what they used to be. So I always tell people it's wonderful that we have a phototherapy patch, that it doesn't have to necessarily filter through all of those organ systems like a typical drug or even a nutraceutical, right, would have to go through a lot of those. We're coming in through light. Can you just talk to us for a second about phototherapy and what makes it so special like right now? Well, of course, it's been recognized for thousands of years that uh, there's an intimate connection between uh, light and life on this planet. We all intuitively know this, that we can't survive without sunlight, and we feel better when we're out in the light. Um, I believe we were in Aruba, and we were talking about this phenomena that the sand uh, will give off infrared light, and we're getting UV light. Uh, from the sun. And in a way, this creates uh, polarity and a flow of energy from one to the other. Uh, there's also, of course, a polarity in the atmosphere and then a polarity at the earth. And we also get a flow of energy as we connect uh, to the earth. So we're getting a flow of, and this is what, one of the reasons why being at the beach is so therapeutic. You're getting a, uh, it's called the atmospheric potential gradient, where you get, a, uh, you get atmospheric air ionization you get an electrical charge, uh, and then you get a potential difference in the atmosphere, the higher up that you go. And the earth is, of course, a ground. So energy will flow through the human body back down to uh, ground. And then, of course, we get a potential difference uh, between the UV light in the atmosphere and the uh, far infrared energy or infrared energy that's in the sand. And again, we get a flow of energy. But uh, this is all to say that... Um, if we look at strict definitions, phototherapy um, by the government standards uh, will be very mild effects of light. It makes you feel good. It may provide some pain relief, uh, but it's really when we uh, define phototherapy as photobiomodulation, now we can speak in terms of how specific wavelengths of light will turn on a specific process. So for example, if we look in the literature and we wanted to turn on mitochondrial function, we can look at a wavelength of around 850 nanometers in the infrared band, 630, 660 nanometers in the visible band. And these are very well established to play a role on elevating cytochrome C oxidase in the electron transport chain and increasing supply of ATP. So this is very, very important because now uh, we can see that with specific wavelengths of light, uh, we can turn on the mitochondria and we can provide better quality of life, faster healing, and even uh, very powerful uh, anti-aging effects. And uh, just because I, I know your team is interested in this, um, I happen to convert uh, the uh, phrase tree of life over into Hebrew and then convert that into a number. And then that was transposed over into a wavelength. And uh, I got 857 nanometers, which turns out to be exactly the wavelength of light we need to turn on the mitochondria. So uh, yeah. Wait a second, but, you gotta say all that again. Say that again, a little bit slower. <laughs> oh, That yeah, was incredible. So Say yeah, it again. So I've had it's the so benefit good. of hearing more of this. So, so I, I, I did a study for many, many years here at our labs where what we were trying to do was figure out how to duplicate in a biomimetic process what's going on with uh, some species of ants, specifically temnothorax, lobsters, planaria, tardigrades. How are they defeating aging? And um, I happened to be studying lobster 
and uh, looking at uh, a biophysical mechanism as opposed to a biochemical mechanism. So biochemistry, what's well understood is that lobsters produce an abundance of telomerase. So we know their telomeres don't shorten, their cells keep dividing. But um, my hypothesis was that there was much, much more going on. So I decided to look at this from the perspective of what are the wavelengths of light that are actually controlling the uh, cells in lobster. And I started to see a pattern emerge. And uh, I, I take a Bible study regularly. And um, I, I knew I had seen this pattern before. And as it turned out, this pattern is in the uh, book of Genesis. So in the very first sentence. So if you take the book of Genesis, you uh, King James version converted over into Hebrew, those uh, that first sentence forms a series of numbers and those numbers form a numerical pattern. And you can actually take the, the, the sequence of those numbers and they'll form prime numbers in a, in a very special pattern, which in fact form triangular solids. And uh, this can be converted into ratios. And then those ratios are the same ratios that show up in lobsters. It, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a subject that it'd take me about an hour to, you know, to yeah. discuss. PowerPoint and distilling it down in, in, a, in a bunch of babble. But basically what this means is that there is a God and creator and uh, God signed his name, you know, so to speak, uh, in all different types of species. And, uh, and, and we can see this mathematically. It, it's not a matter of speculation. It's actually mathematical. But the important thing is we can use this information to, um, to change how we think about aging. So when we see that there is something called a tree of life and that number from Hebrew transposes into a wavelength that uh, potentially prevents mitochondria from decaying. Uh, and we know that that alters gene expression and we know that that resets genes to a more youthful state. We can say the Bible word for word is true. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, David. Oh my gosh. We so appreciate you and Scott and I and our family just love you for that, that you put God first. And the fact that you, you are like next level. I talk to some really smart people every week. Like I have, I always say I have just hang out with super smart people. Like you'll go up level your life. Right. It, but you like, it's a whole nother dimension. I have to believe it's supernatural. It's your natural combined with the super, super of heaven coming down and you are divinely uh, downloaded. So we're honored to be part of Definitely life not. wave. And it's part not of what coming you have going me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it's amazing when you put it all together. I, I'm sure when you have those moments where you have those aha moments, you're probably like, <laughs> I mean, it's shocking, right? But yet you're like, oh, it's so gone, right? It's so gone. And of course he did that. It's really, uh, it's really fun and exciting. You know, I turned 60 this year. And uh, as you know, I enjoy exercise. I'm not uh, as much, I'm not at your level, uh, but uh you know, I love exercise. And so um, because we just had this spectacular convention and I didn't exercise for a period of maybe about a month, I know exactly how my body responds, getting back in the gym, how long it takes. So I thought, okay, th I, this gives me an opportunity to try something that I've wanted to try. So there is um, a new technology that we're going to come out with next year and uh, it, it's a way to take these Bible codes and put it into a device that people can use to, uh, to benefit their life in a very easy and practical way. And when we did our first pilot study, we did, uh, you know, of course, traditional blood testing, urine testing, heart rate variability, infrared, um, EEG, uh, to see what would happen. And in the urine data, what was so interesting was that we were upregulating metabolism of certain amino acids by as much as a hundred times over baseline. And so, and one of those was uh, leucine. So when we looked at the chain of what was happening in uh, synthesis of amino acids, what was becoming uh, obvious is that uh, you use this product, uh, it turns on methylation, energy production in the mitochondria is upregulated and then mTOR is activated and muscle protein synthesis increases. 
So I thought, okay, well, if you had the right stimulus there, uh, meaning if you're doing intense exercise and you were um, taking enough protein that you, you might have the best natural steroid that ever existed because this is only light, it's totally non-drug. So, uh, so I did it, you know, this is purely anecdotal. So um, I use a combination of weights and resistance bands. So on this one, and I got similar results across both. So on this one resistance band, it has about 300 pounds of resistance on a bench press. And on day one, I did uh, a one rep max at 300. And then day seven, I did eight reps. And day 14, I did 14 reps. And I had similar results on squats and curls uh, and, and so forth. And okay, was, let me just explain that to the viewing audience because I am a strength and conditioning coach and all those things. Like you don't increase your strength like that typically. Like it takes months, years sometimes to increase your one rep max. I mean, the fact that it was on one day, what did you say, 14 days? When you said to me yesterday on the email, yeah. I might have found uh, the next new uh, legal steroid. Like, and this is all happening, by the way, through light, through light, this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I would say I've never taken an anabolic steroid, but I could imagine that this is probably what it feels like. Uh, and, you know, the, the oh, now, so the other thing I should say, right, for full disclosure, because this is really important, that I'm doing uh, two workouts a day of resistance training, morning and evening. They're about 20 minutes a piece. And then I'm taking maybe 180 grams, you know, protein per day, nothing, ex nothing extraordinary. The, the other side that's probably really important is that um, there is something to muscle memory. Uh, meaning if I went back where my peak was back five years ago, I weighed about 217 pounds. And today I weigh maybe 205. So a lot of this is, uh, is that you have attachment sites in the muscle where the, if you mobilize the stem cells, they're going to go to those, uh, there's, they're going to go to those attachment sites and you can basically rebuild muscle very quickly. So I think the important distinction is that this was muscle that was lost over a period of many years. Uh, whereas, you know, once I reach a peak, if you want to grow past that, you know, maybe that's not as easy, but I, I, the important thing is mu muscle tissue just does not grow this quickly. No, and let me just say this, muscle is medicine for everybody in the house here. Muscle is medicine. Like when you have more lean muscle on your body, it protects your bones, you look better, you feel better. Usually your brain functioning is better. I mean, everything, your immune system is better, right? So all of these things matter with uh, increase of lean mass and muscle. So the fact that you're doing that, I'm like, I need my hands on that light technology. Get it over here, David, whatever it is. I uh, want to be in the trial. I want to be in the trial group. So we appreciate that so much. you telling us about that. So lots that this is kind of like when you understand David, this is a technology company. Like we are light, we are a light technology company. So he's bringing forth all these incredible different modalities of healing um, that are happening through phototherapy. For those of you who are just brand new to this today, let's reverse a little bit and talk about the patches because we had a miracle um, today with the patches. So our son Truett turned 17 today. He's our middle son. You know Truett, David. Uh, these boys are all muscly, right? Super fit. Yeah. Well, he hurt himself a basketball on Friday and the kid is the tallest Brandon. You know me, I'm like five, two Scott's like, you know, five, nine, two, it's six feet and growing. And so he's just skyrocketing, but he was jumped up, kind of landed wrong. Long story short, hurt his knee pretty bad. Like he's probably going to have to have surgery. First injury he's ever had, never been injured. Like, you know, and um, I didn't want to give him ibuprofen. I didn't want to give him acetaminophen. I know it reduces glutathione stores. Right. And, and so for me, I said, okay, let's patch you up. I literally had three sets of ice wave on him. Do you know that true? When we went to the doctor today, because that was on Friday, today's Tuesday, the doctor says, what have you been taking for pain? And Truett says, nothing. And the doctor is like, you haven't taken anything for pain? And he's like, I think you have a torn ACL. You haven't you haven't taken anything for pain. Truett's like, nope. Just my, and, and he goes, well, tell me about these patches you have on your leg. <laughs> and then Truett goes, mom, tell him. And I was like, okay. And so it's so incredible, you guys, these, these, uh, patches that David has created that, I mean, they're just a gift to each one of us that know them, use them, are sharing them. So let, because we have a lot of physicians on here and a lot of healthcare practitioners on here that want to know the technology of the patches. And for me, I just love the simplicity of it. 
I know we have even bigger things coming, David. Trust me, what you're saying gets me fired up. But like what we already have is so beyond special. And we're seeing so many miracles just with what we already have with these patches. So can you tell them a little bit about the patch journey, where it started, where we're at? Um, and I know the patch, you know, how we're describing the patch has now changed. But the truth is how the patch works has always stayed the same. It just works, right? And so even if we have to word it a little differently, we just know that the technology is still phenomenal and it has phenomenal results. So tell us that journey. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I started back in the late 90s uh, developing technology for the U.S. Navy through government contractors. And uh, the type of tech that I was developing uh, with my group was um, all types of survival equipment, new types of power generation, uh, emergency oxygen supplies, uh, new methods for producing hydrogen. And um, I was invited to be part of a design team for one of the Navy's uh, next generation mini subs. And the crew uh, were going to be Navy SEALs. And so um, what we wanted to look at was, uh, since they were going on such long missions, how could we improve their survivability? And these could be missions that were 30 hours, 60 hours. So how do you keep people awake without giving them stimulants? And uh, over about a three-year period of time, I uh, developed this concept that since we had uh, radios and satellite communication, maybe we could develop some type of wireless way of communicating with the human body. And... Um, so the first uh, patches were designed to take a blend of different wavelengths of light, stimulate the skin at very, very low levels. Uh, it only takes uh, one or two packets of photons to activate receptors. Uh, so you only need very, very low levels of light. And uh, turn on, uh, turn on uh, beta oxidation so we can increase fat burning. So that was the very, very first product, which were the energy enhancer patches. So inside these patches, they're a passive uh, optoelectronic devices. Uh, they contain a blend of stereoisomers of amino acids and sugars in water-based solutions and some other things, but they're basically processed and fabricated so that they will uh, reflect, when activated by body heat, they'll reflect very, very low levels of light uh, across the uh, visible and the infrared spectra. So as uh, the company went on and performed uh, clinical studies over the years, we have over 80 clinical studies now, um, you know, what we found was that the real sweet spot for this tech was its ability to synthesize peptides. So we could design a patch that uh, would only stimulate the skin with light. It wouldn't put any biochemistry, any type of biochemicals into the body. And uh, we could activate receptors that would upregulate glutathione levels. Um, we did studies with, uh, since let's say there's doctors on, we did uh, studies and we found a way to turn on uh, production of phenylacetylglutamine, uh, which is a peptide in the primitive immune system and when you upregulate this peptide, it increases production of uh, SOD along with glutathione, but it, it produces an immediate relaxation response in the autonomic nervous system. Uh, but what's, what's novel about this is that if someone is, uh, let's say most some people are going to be in a sympathetic drive, this tends to bring them back towards balance. But if people are too parasympathetically driven, it tends to bring them back into balance as well. And uh, so as a consequence, we see that this is a very, very effective broad spectrum anti-inflammatory. So using the Eon patch to elevate this peptide, we see reduction in fibrinogen, uh, C-reactive proteins, inflammatory cytokines. And um, again, we with inflammation, we don't want to eliminate inflammation, we want to manage it because some inflammation is good, right? We needed to tear down unhealthy things. And then of course we got to stem cells, which was a 10 year journey. And um, what we do with uh, that product X39 is we stimulate the skin with low levels of light in a very specific blend of wavelengths. 
and this uh, we found could turn on production of GHKCU uh, and GHK, uh, which are copper and copper binding peptide. And uh, as a result, um, thanks to the many years of work of Dr. Lauren Picard, we know that uh, this will turn on the P63 gene, which will mobilize stem cells. Um, copper peptide is also rather extraordinary in, in that it resets thousands of genes to a more youthful state and improves uh, immune function, uh, and upregulates collagen uh, production in the fibroblasts, and uh, a whole host of benefits. Um, we've also seen uh, very significantly um, after doing uh, a uh, P3 scans, EEG, that we get very significant improvements in cognition in as little as three weeks uh, by increasing production of copper peptide. So, so um, this is really all to say that while traditional light therapy is extremely effective, we found a new way to do it. And, and um, as opposed to, you know, just having effects of uh, relieving pain and mobilizing toxins, uh, what's special about LifeWave is its ability to upregulate production of specific peptides for producing a whole host of health benefits. And David, I'm going to tell you that when we talk peptides, I mean, I've got books on peptides because I'm reading those too, but peptides are like, that is like the here now with healthcare. Like that's where everybody is moving into peptides. You see it in everything from skincare to people getting injections and all sorts of things. You know, it's interesting because with injections, there's always risk, right? And I always think it's always short lived too. With this, it's amazing that we can keep on wearing these patches. They're not invasive. They're affordable. We can just keep putting them on. In fact, the day that Truett did that with his knee, he was definitely in a fight or flight state, right? And so we threw a couple Eon patches on him before he went to bed along with the ice wave and he slept like a rock. I mean, think about this. Like Scott said to me, Renita, it's unbelievable that he wasn't just like the next morning I came down and I thought he was going to be like, oh, I mean, he was like nothing, like nothing had happened. And I'm thinking like maybe nothing's torn, you know, uh, but that's, so it works so effectively is what I want to say. It's so effectively, it's so easy. It's non-invasive for all the practitioners in the house. It's so easy for your clients or your patients to use over and over and over. It's not something where, you know, like I said, like the injections, I don't like needles, David, like there's a reason I'm into natural health. Like I prefer, like, can we bring this in through light? Can we bring this in through a sound frequency? Like let's, let's heal our bodies with these natural things that are non-invasive, right? That are so amazing. Okay. I, and we could, we could just talk to you all day. Cause I just love everything you're saying. And I know all the, the people love everything you're saying and they're asking questions. So I want to get to those too. Okay. I do want to say that, okay, we know where the technology is going. We know where we're at with LifeWave. I know your ultimate goal. And you said this on the Shemaine Nugent show is to reverse aging, right? I mean, that's like your sweet spot. And by the way, you don't look, I mean, you look, you're way looking younger than any of your relatives. Let's just say it. <laughs> you start I hope so. With, that's that's not a long yeah. leap though. I would, I would probably say that. Yeah, but. No, uh, you're looking good. You're looking good for 60 and now you're going to pack on the muscle like uh, quickly, uh, it sounds like here. So that'll be a great thing for just, again, to reverse aging some more. But you've also said, Another goal is to be in 1 billion homes. And it takes an army of people to do that. An army of light workers, I always say, an army of people that are taking back their power by believing they can with this patch. And so we so appreciate that this is the model of network marketing. Like if this was, if this was, I, and I know initially when you first started, David, you tell the story of how you actually patched about 10,000 people yourself with the ice wave patches, right? Let's, let's just talk for a second about the ice wave patches. And, and for those of the people that are on brand new, because you want to, Thanksgiving, take the ice wave patches along and find the turkeys in the room that have pain and start patching them. And you, you are, it's going to be like, everyone's going to be in an uproar, right? Like, I mean, we see miracles with the ice wave. Can you talk what makes the ice wave patches work so quickly? Like the positive negative charges, but can you discuss that? Yeah. So before, um, so we released X39 in 2018. So prior to that, um, our lead selling product uh, by far was Ice Wave and Eon uh, because we would have our uh, brand partners building the business through pain relief demos. And uh, what we could 
and what we can consistently demonstrate is 50 to 100% relief of pain within two to three minutes upon application. And um, so there's a number of uh, things that are going on here that are pretty important. And, uh, you know, for reference, we have um, dozens of studies that are posted in our back office uh, that you can go look at on Ice Wave and other patches. But, um, you know, what we found through a variety of different techniques, like electroacuscope would be a really good example, is you, uh, let's say someone had a knee pain. Um, you apply the ice wave patches, uh, let's say parallel to one another around the knee, uh, white on the outside, tan on the inside of the knee, as one example. And what we saw with the electroacuscope, uh, which measures tissue conductivity, is that the tissue conductivity starts to normalize. So when there is an injury and we have swelling, there's now an abnormal distribution of electrolytes. So you can have a uh, resistance in the tissue. And uh, this, of course, decreases electrical signaling. And uh, as a result, the body is going to perceive this as pain. Um, in Eastern terms, uh, what's said is that this is a blockage to the flow of chi but it's really this, it, it's really the same phenomena. There's resistance in the tissue, which interferes with normal electrical signaling. And so uh, what we're not doing with this is masking the pain. Instead, what we're doing is stimulating the skin with light. We can demonstrate that there is a flow of energy that occurs, and this occurs as a result of upregulating mitochondrial function. And then when that happens, you get an increase in cell capacitance. This leads to in not only improvements in energy, but improvements in the flow of energy in the tissue. So very, very rapidly, you see a normalization of tissue conductivity and a reduction in pain, and that's all measurable. Uh, we've also done studies with, uh, with humans and horses and dogs, and uh, you see reduction in inflammation within about 20 minutes of, uh, of applying the patches such as ice wave and eon. So this is all to say that uh, when someone is dealing with a acute or chronic pain, whether it's uh, local or systemic, uh, there's a little bit of training involved, but most of the time it, it's something as simple as applying um, the eon patch on the back of the neck and then using ice wave according to our instructions. And uh, the pain relief is very, very rapid and uh, throughout the body. Yeah, so Truett this morning, in preparation for his doctor's appointment, he was showering, took the patches off, came up the steps on his crutches, hopping on one leg, and said, Mom, my leg hurts so bad right now, I don't know if I can go to the doctor. I said, where are your patches? He said, I took them off before I showered. I said, well, put a set back on so we can get you to the appointment. And he goes, Mom, I said, go, I'm going to go grab an Eon right now. And I've said ice wave. I actually put Eon uh, down under his belly button, David. And then I took a white on the right, outside of his knee, tan on the left. And I am not kidding you. Two minutes later, True says to me, Mom, it's almost unbelievable how those patches work. I mean, he's 17, right? It's almost unbelievable how they work. He's like, I can't even believe that just you putting those patches like that just does that to me. Like he he couldn't, you know, it's so even it's hard for people to wrap their mind around like, how is this working? David, we've been so trained as a society to suppress symptoms. We've been so trained as a society to uh, let me just say that again, because people are not used to detoxing. They're not trained to detox. They're trained, you know, a pill for every ill. Oh, you got a headache, take an ibuprofen. Oh, you got flu, take their flu. If you got this, you got that. You're always suppressing and the body needs to release. The body needs to, the body knows how to heal, right? And so I love that with this, there's no drugs, no, no stimulants. Like I believe that it should be in every gym bag of every athlete in our country. Like I'm an athlete's mom, right? And so like all my boys use the patches and just seeing this with Truett again, it reiterates that if you're a mom watching this, let's say that you're a doctor, but you're also a mother, like you need to get these patches. And I decided today we need to move from the terminology medicine cabinet to health arsenal, okay? That's where I'm at. I'm not talking medicine cabinets. If you're over there, that's the wrong language. We're talking health arsenal and you need all these patches in your health arsenal because you don't have to be old. I know, David, we're talking a lot about anti-aging and reversing aging today, which is beautiful for me, beautiful for you. But, you know, my 17-year-old, they don't care as much. My 23-year-old doesn't care as much. But the things that we can do with these patches are not just reversing aging. I mean, it's literally helping the body to restore flow. And that we itself, 
yeah, we can okay. do both, right? So let's talk about carnosine for a moment. So we have a patch that elevates carnosine. And uh, this is something that really, uh, it, it has immediate short-term effects, uh, but also incredibly desirable long-term benefits as well. So you get both. So with carnosine, uh, of course, it's a dipeptide and it's uh, made of alanine and histidine. Uh, so uh, typically people could take a supplement of something like beta alanine and it will support carnosine levels. And carnosine is gonna show up in the brain, uh, in the skeletal muscle and in the heart and the skin and even in uh, tears. So this gives us a little bit of an indication of, uh, of what it is that it's gonna be doing. One of the important things of carnosine is that it buffers lactic acid. And this is of great interest to athletes because it means you elevate your carnosine and you can perform longer. So when we've done our studies on the carnosine patch, that's exactly what we find is that within about a week of using it, we see significant improvements in athletic performance, strength, stamina, flexibility, grip strength, and so forth. Uh, but there's, of course, there's other benefits that show up as well. We did a study with Dr. Tom Budzinski and we were looking at people uh, over the age of 60. And uh, of course, uh, in that age group, what people are concerned about is a decline in cognition. And what we wanted to find out was going back to around 2010, 2011, what we wanted to find out was that could we reverse normal age-related cognitive decline by elevating carnosine. And that's exactly what we found out was that after 30 days of using the carnosine patch, uh, that uh, measures of cognition, such as uh, midterm memory, long-term memory, uh, the speed of which people process information, those all improved after only 30 days of use. So, this is very significant because we wanna know exactly, you know, what's the mechanism and how is that happening? Um, another thing about carnosine um, from the perspective of long-term benefits is that it appears that this antioxidant preserves the telomeres. So in mm -hmm. studies that have been done in mice and rats, it shows uh, two very, very important things. Number one, in mammals um, that there is about a 30 to 40% increase in lifespan uh, when supplementing with carnosine, but importantly, the mice did not age until the very end of their lives. So, you know, imagine being able to live to 130 years old, uh, but you don't start aging until, you know, you're 125 or 128. I think most people would probably like that, right? And that's just that one nutrient. So carnosine is to me is pretty remarkable because it improves, uh, you know, as you pointed out quite correctly, if uh, exercise is uh, probably the most powerful non-drug that exists, uh, it, certainly clinical studies and medical doctors like Peter, Peter Atia, you know, who focus on this type of research would support that. Um, so anything that we can do to improve muscle strength and stamina is going to be the best defense that we have against cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, you know, by far. And carnosine is an extraordinarily powerful nutrient. So we get those short-term benefits. And uh, we also, of course, get the long-term benefits as well. Okay, so I got the carnosine in my hand. I'm going to tell you where my favorite place to put it is like at the bottom right here, David, like uh, at the bottom of my sternum, I feel like I am Iron Man when I put it right there. I am not kidding. Like, and I'm pretty tough, right? Like I go to the gym, I can do incline chest press, but like usually like 30s, 35s, I put a carnosine patch on, I'm doing 40s. Like, I'm not kidding. It, for me, it's like, it goes, it just like switches me on. And I'm like, I was like, I can do the 40s and I just get them up. And I, if, I'm not kidding. If I don't have the carnosine, like, you know, I'm, I, there's no way I can do it by myself. Without him, like, I had my son behind me. He's like, mom, I can't believe you can do 40s. I'm like, that's because I got a carnosine patch on. Like, it's crazy how quickly it works. So where's your favorite place to put this? Yeah, you know, we found kind of some interesting things with the patches is on the one hand, the placement is not as important as you might think for most people. So uh, I'll typically wear carnosine below the belly button. Uh, anywhere below the belly button is okay. Uh, we find the effects to both be local and systemic. 
So what that means with carnosine, since we're using it for athletic performance, behind the neck, below the belly button is just fine. With other products, let's say um, like Ice Wave, you could put them on the bottom of the feet and that produces a relaxation response through the nervous system. And it's very, very good for relieving pain. But on the other hand, you know, that's an example of a product where you can apply it locally to something like knee pain or shoulder pain or lower back pain. And uh, then that placement becomes a little bit more important. But by and large, uh, the placement is uh, generally 80% of the time, not so important. Uh, just putting it on the midline of the body, you get systemic effects. And the blood tests we've done show that. I love that. So people were asking what my patch I have here. And of course it's glutathione because there's a bunch of sickos around everywhere in the world right now. I feel like everyone is like, I don't know if you guys are having like the crazy, you know, C word outbreak again, but it's happening up here. And I'm like, so, you know me, I'm preparing for Thanksgiving and I'm running into not a Costco and I'm like, put a patch on, got it on all the kids. I'm like, where to basketball practice? Cause there's sickos there too. And so like, every, you just got to put the patch on. So talk for a second about this glutathione because it's pretty remarkable. We know the X39 has been clinically proven to increase glutathione. What did you say? Up to 30%? Is that number right? 300%. Oh, on X39, X39. It's about 30 to 40% on glutathione, but glutathione patch is more like around 300% uh, when we started doing those studies back in 2006 uh, and 2008. And uh, so uh, glutathione, of course, it's the body's master antioxidant. Uh, it's ubiquitous. Uh, we find it in very high concentrations in the liver, and it's involved in um, in detoxification. Uh, we always see it in uh, detoxing heavy metals like mercury. It's very important for the immune function. Uh, and uh, you find glutathione in the tears. Uh, glutathione drops can be used uh, for different eye conditions. And uh, glutathione is strongly correlated with lifespan. Uh, one thing that we know is that if um, someone were, let's say uh, they were out in the sun too long and they got a very, very bad sunburn, uh, that if they elevated their glutathione levels, they can repair damage to DNA before cell replication. So, so before DNA, it becomes the C, the C word. Right, well, yeah, before there's a mutation, Right. Um, yeah. Before there's a mutation, uh, glutathione is capable of uh, repairing damage to the DNA. So it won't carry over to the next generation. So glutathione is extraordinarily powerful. And so in so very many ways. And uh, this is an interesting patch uh, because on the one hand, if you're if, if someone is interested in it for detoxification, you can pretty much apply it anywhere behind the neck, below the belly button. Uh, but if someone, let's see, since we're on a doctor's call, uh, I won't travel without the glutathione patch because if I got a cut in an infection, I'm going to put, uh, one to three glutathione patches around that infection to manage it. And I found for myself that works extraordinarily well for a sore throat. It's really incredible. Um, someone had, is on the onset of having a sore throat, um, uh, so a viral infection and, you know, the neck and everything gets really tight. Well, just patching uh, three patches right across the neck there, there, and there. And uh, two, three minutes, uh, most people will feel that their throat starts to feel better. Um, yeah. So. Amen. I'm going to tell you what he just said is gold. And there's a reason every free trip, incentive trip that you've given with uh, LifeWave, you have glutathione patches in our travel bag because you know we're going to be right. up dancing right. under the moonlight <laughs> and we're right. going to need, and we might step on sharp objects because we're barefoot most of the time. So it's super important that we're wearing our glutathione patches. Uh, David, I have a, a special guest. I just pinned him so everybody can see him. Dr. Leland Stillman, he is amazing. Uh, I just hang out with amazing people. I love all my friends. Um, but Dr. Leland Stillman, I went after Dr. Leland and Stillman for like, I think six months trying to get him into this business because I thought Leland, Dr. Leland loves light. He loves frequency. He loves energy. He talks like we talk. And when he got, he put his toe in the water here. I, I just don't want Dr. Leland to speak for a minute because there's practitioners. And I wanted to speak to the doctors about how he's utilizing the patch in his practice. Dr. Leland now has a, an arsenal of a spreadsheet 
with the results his patients are having. I think it was you, Dr. Leland, that said to me, Renita, I've seen more in seven days than I see sometimes in me coaching for six months. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, some of the effects are very, very profound. It's just that I can't predict who it's going to be profound for. And that is, uh, you know, I mean, that's part of therapeutics, right? Uh, I, it just speaks to my experience across the board, whether I'm talking about drugs or surgeries or 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 nutrients or whatever. One of the questions, though, that I have for, for David is um, the number one objection I get from other clinicians to adopting the patches and trying them in their practice or from influencers like, for example, my friend Ben Greenfield, who I... I approached with the patches and he, he was resistant to them was they want to see more studies. And I have looked through some of the studies and, but I, and I don't know why this is, but it seems like I, it's not easy for me to find a big page of studies on say the LifeWave website or on Stardex 39, which I would love to be able to, to point these people to. And I'm also curious and interested in getting involved in more, potentially clinical trials of this, because it seems like such an accessible technology and it would be very easy to do double blinded trials because all you got to do, correct me if I'm wrong, is print patches that have a material that looks the same, but isn't, doesn't have the same photonic properties. So where, where can we find these studies to send to the skeptics to get them out of their own way? Um, and what's in the works and how can we get more involved? Sure. Well, First, thank you. It's good to see you again. And you too. Uh, yeah, so let's break this down. So the first thing is we moved our studies off of our website to the back office. And uh, so they're located there. Um, the reason why we did that is uh, we got an inquiry from the FDA and they said, well, uh, you know, you guys are a health and wellness product and uh, you're in that category. So you know, it's okay to share the studies with your community, but not on the public site because it doesn't fit with the general wellness category. Uh, so these are, you know, the realm of claims that you can make. So even though we can prove through blood studies, we've done maybe eight blood studies now showing that X39 elevates copper peptide, uh, we can't make the claim unless we want to register as a class two or class three device with FDA. So, uh, so that's why we've had a change in uh, moving uh, the studies to the back office and the FDA was fine with that. Uh, the second thing is, uh, yes, uh, we have a, a huge budget for clinical studies and we always have them ongoing. So if that's something that you are interested in doing, I'd be happy to fund it. On the placebo, we do double blind placebo controlled studies. Uh, but what we find is with the uh, placebo, is that um, the, the placebos that we use today, uh, because they look identical, they still tend to trap body heat. So you'll get stimulation of the nerves or the acupuncture points on the skin and you will get an effect, but you're obviously not gonna elevate copper peptide. So if you set up, if the design of the study is uh, correct, then you can um, see statistical dif uh, differences between the uh, real patch and the placebo. So it's just a matter of making sure that the study design uh, is correct for the product. And you would say that about any type of product, a drug, medical device, or what have you. Hmm. One of the things that I've wondered about is whether or not the blood is the best place to test this, because if it's having systemic effects, we care more about its effects in tissue than the blood, which is a very small proportion of the body. Have you ever considered doing tests on things like hair, skin, nails that are easily accessible in these trials? I suppose we could, right? I wouldn't have any objection to that. The type of tests that we've done are traditional blood, urine, and saliva. And then we've done a whole host of bioelectrical tests. So uh, we've done um, infrared imaging, uh, we've done heart rate variability, EEG, uh, electroacuscope, uh, BioWell, um, these types of devices. Uh, and overall, I, I tend to really like studies that use a combination of both 
because you get a better picture. So for example, you do a blood study, you see a change in, in chemistry, but then you use infrared and then you see where the inflammation is reducing. So it tends to give you a bigger picture. So I, I think what I would say is if you wanted to collect, you know, uh, hair and nail samples, depending what it was you were looking at, um, wouldn't really have an issue with it. Um, but it does, you know, then you ask the question over what period of time are you looking for effects? So when we're, I give you an example, when we're looking at blood effects, uh, we can see a change within 24 hours. When we're looking for a change in telomeres, that's a minimum of six months. Um, so again, this is just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do a study to evaluate telomeres and then do your uh, pre and post at three months because you're not going to see an effect, but at six months you will. So um, it, again, as long as the, the design of the study is proper for what you're looking for, then, then I'd say it's fine. Got it. Okay. Leland, do you want to just share any uh, single success story that you've had? Because I know you've had so many. Um, and uh, I love it. I've never seen you so dark, by the way. Where's your light? Like, sit in front of your no, DJ well, lamp it's, or something. No, it's dark here in, in, like you're killing in, me. in I'm Florida like, on I, the East Coast. I went well, this I need, 9 I need my... light, so I look younger, and I'm like, Leland's in the dark. Okay, well, Leland, come to the funny you, you mentioned that, though, Renita, because so we did track a lot of people in our practice who are very naturally minded. And so one of their, one of the common responses we get to recommending these patches is, well, can't I get the same effect from the sun? Can't I get the same effect from phototherapy that's being done by say Thor photobiomodulation, other red light therapy beds and, and infrared light therapy devices. Um, my experience with this is that I can't, sometimes the period of time needed for those treatments isn't available in the person's day, particularly if they're an indoor worker. Uh, but I also, you know, wonder what your thoughts are because you've had the time to fine tune the dose here and the amount of light being reflected from the patch, which I know is really critical to optimizing the dose with the Arndt Schultz curve and phenomenon. So how much time and, and really like, is this 12 hour period really dialed in for maximal effect with these frequencies and the photonic properties of the devices? I would say that that's one of the best features of this is that the 12 hour number is somewhat arbitrary. Uh, what that means is when we're testing, uh, we typically look at, we take a baseline, let's say on hormones at eight in the morning and then uh, go back and the next day at eight in the morning, we'll take another measure and uh, the patches are worn for around 12 hours. But the effect that we're looking at mitigating is attenuation. So this is a very well-known effect in phototherapy where you stimulate the body with a specific wavelength of light and the body stops responding, right? It attenuates to that signal. So what we found as a practical matter was that if someone wore the patches for about eight to 12 hours, they wouldn't attenuate to them. They wouldn't adapt to it. And uh, we would in fact see changes in the biochemistry and bioelectrically. So this is just all to say that 12 hours is somewhat arbitrary, um, that it doesn't have to be that specifically. Uh, we encourage people not to wear them longer than that because the patches uh, do trap heat. They don't allow the skin to breathe. And if someone wears them, let's say 20 hours, they could get a heat rash or it could dry out the skin. Um, so it, it's really more of that, uh, for that reason, that we recommend 12 hours. Um, but we wouldn't want people using them like a transdermal patch where you just keep applying it uh, because then they, they would eventually stop responding to the uh, light signal, as it were. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what that do you answer? say to people who wonder about getting the same benefit from the sun? No, I mean, the benefits from sunlight, you know, there are many benefits from sunlight, you know, elevating vitamin D, uh, elevating testosterone potentially, uh, and other things. But um, I don't see any evidence in the literature where you can use sunlight to elevate copper peptide or glutathione or those antioxidants. And also it would be terribly inconvenient, even uh, if it did work. Uh, taking 10 seconds in the morning to apply a patch that's going to elevate a peptide that has all of these broad benefits is incredibly convenient. 
uh, very easy for anyone to implement. Whereas, you know, going out in the sun, uh, even for, you know, 20 minutes a day uh, is not really practical for most people. Um, also, there is, I'd say in nature, um, the desirable effects occur with very small stimulus over very long periods of time, right? So the low, slow approach. So you, you could take one approach, which would be hit the body with a very large stimulus over a short period of time, which is, you know, in a way how we describe Western medicine, or we could do it more in concert with nature where we stimulate the body with a very small stimulus, but over a very, very long period of time. So that that's really the path that um, I've chosen with the patches. And uh, we've demonstrated that that works very well. And I think that's better for the, the individual, right? Like, cause you're not coming in there and hitting them with a sledgehammer to, because like, what if the body can't deal with that level of change that quickly, right? So it has to be kind of that slow and low, um, which should be how it is anyway, like with healing with the body. Cause I mean, I think, you know, the thing of it is, is I even have some people and Leila, maybe you see this when people put on the X39, some have a detox reaction. You know, no, and I've, I've gotten and a couple I, of, um, of messages. In fact, it's funny, I, I got one yesterday. And they said something like, I've had the X39 on for three hours and my body feels like hell. But I know all too well that frequently with natural medicine, when I get someone to do something that's really stimulating the body to heal, sometimes you feel terrible. Uh, and, you know, the reality is no one has had any kind of actual real problem that required urgent or emergent medical care, which means that, you know, it can't be dangerous. It must yeah, be stimulating things to bring the system back into balance, even if that's not necessarily a walk in the park. Well, Dr. Atley, who's on our team, said that any when they put the patch on, if they have change, that's good. And sometimes the change is going to be like, oh my gosh, I had more energy. Oh my gosh, I slept better. And sometimes the change is going to be like, I kind of feel like I'm detoxing. And then my, and David, you can, uh, you can uh, speak to this because I am radical about electrolytes. Leland, you know this about me too. Like I am always, yes. I mean, I'm putting salt in my mouth every webinar generally. Like I'm just salting it up constantly. And I feel like when people have adequate electrons and electrolytes, it's like they weather the storm of that detox much quicker. It's, they don't have the results of, you know, that someone who's chronically dehydrated and doesn't drink water and doesn't consume any fruits and vegetables, right? Yeah, what do you think, I know David? It. What do you think, David, about the electrolytes? Oh, that was for me. Yeah, they're critical, right? So if you look, uh, if you look at studies on acupuncture, for example, it's going to show that when people do not respond to acup uh, acupuncture, it's strongly correlated to deficiencies in uh, calcium, potassium, magnesium. And we know today, you know, unfortunately, uh, most people are deficient in all three. So, uh, although um, I, I would say for the vast majority of people, if they're not responding, it's because they're dehydrated or they're experiencing these really bad detox effects again, they're dehydrated. So they can remove the patch, drink lots of water, hopefully get their electrolytes and uh, that will improve things quite a bit. Awesome, I love yeah. that. Well, we're at the magic hour. I know people are asking questions about Leland, how are you uh, You know, putting this into your practice? And we can have a future meeting talking about that because David loves the technology, loves inventing technologies that are helping us to look younger and now get stronger. Uh, but uh, I know that, We'll talk business on a different meeting because this is really not for that. But if you were invited on this by a health practitioner like Dr. Leland, myself, anybody who invited you on here, make sure you get back with them. They will help get you started at the wholesale price. There are wholesale packages. And if you are a practitioner, if you have a, uh, if you're a clinician, if you, you know, want to get started to share this with your clients, your patients, or people around you, um, there is a wholesale package that you absolutely should be getting started with for the best deal. And uh, with that being said, you also get a free website, a free app. And you're essentially launching your business if that's something you're looking forward to doing. So and I'm happy to share the testimonial sheet. I think, you know, um, what is it? A picture is worth a thousand words. A story is worth a lot more than that, in my opinion. Uh, if, if anyone wants those testimonials, I'm happy to share them. You can just email my office at stillmanmd at stillmanmd.com. Uh, you know, the more testimonials I get, the more convinced I am of how effective this is. And 
the great thing about this, I think from my perspective is it's not a home run for every single case, particularly because a lot of my people are already looking for health optimization. They're already reasonably healthy, but where it is, it's results that I have not been able to get with other things. And that's why it's so handy. So we now hand these out to pretty much everyone who does an executive physical with us because we know it will come back. I'll just type my email in the, in the chat. Um, and we expect pretty much everything from energy to joint pain, to fatigue, to anxiety, depression, lack of focus. I mean, that's the bread and butter, um, stuff that we see in our practice. We expect all of that to respond in different cases, but of course, another challenge here that I, I'm really, I wonder, I mean, if I could talk to David for a long time myself, but you know, we, we do so many different things at once. Even if I was going to study life with patches in my practice, I don't know how I would study them in isolation without doing it alongside all the other things that I, I like to do for my patients from nutrition to, you know, time outside, time and rest, other things that we recommend to patients. Yeah, I think that, you know, everyone's practice is a little bit different, Dr. Leland. So I feel like I have some practitioners that are like, that they just kind of dabbled in this when they first started. And now it's kind of become the kingpin because the result, results have been so extraordinary and it's the it's a, the least amount of time that they're spending, right? With their patients or their clientele is telling them to put this patch on. And so, um, you know, you can spend a lot of time, trust me, I've been a, a clinical exercise specialist for 25 years. I spent a lot of time <laughs> teaching exercise, teaching nutrition, training, trying to retrain belief systems, trying to, you know, retrain behaviors. Like, I mean, literally that's what you do when you're in the realm of health and trying to get people from sickness to wellness. Um, but I have, I've not seen anything personally, nothing that's worked like this, nothing. It's so easy. It's so affordable. It's so effective. And like you said, maybe it's not a slam dunk for every single case, but then I always think, ah, I can't see the body at a cellular level. Like, I don't know what it's changing. Right. And if we have enough time and if they give it enough time, like you said before, Dr. Leland, they generally do see a result. Sometimes it's simply they haven't given the patch enough adequate time, right? Muted yeah, absolutely. And I, I actually will just go ahead and drop the link to the uh, survey I've put out. It's just a Google sheet. So you can see the questions at the top and you can see the responses below that. They're all anonymous because I, did, I didn't want to collect personal identifying information. And I also wanted people to be candid uh, if they had negative feedback. And so this is survey results from a email list that I have on my Substack, which is about... Now it's 7,800 people. It's been anywhere from there to 7,500 for the last year. Um, and so it's uh, it's been very, it's been wonderful to get these testimonials back. You'll see some of them are very impressive. Wow. Dr. Leland, thank you. David, happy Thanksgiving. We're so grateful for you to get on today and sharing your heart and sharing the, literally the vision of LifeWave. Like we're not stopping just with the patches. And I shouldn't say just with the patches because they're so powerful, right? Like right now I've got like six on uh, <laughs> at once. And so I'm feeling pretty good. Like a super, I need it because I have 50 people coming over for Thanksgiving and I got to cook. So I got to be running around the kitchen. But the bottom line is, is if you have a have not gotten started yet, talk to who invited you on here. They are your sponsor. They will get you started at the best possible price. Uh, the future of LifeWave is bright, right? It's the bright light. And we are excited uh, to be part of it, to share this healing modality that's changing so many lives global globally. Remember, we are a global company. What, David, we're in 80 countries. How did that Our happen, 80. right? Yep. Isn't that amazing? Are you just, uh, sometimes you just sit home and be like, thank you, God, that like I started this. Oh, it's so hard to believe sometimes, you know, it's uh, I it, and I, I think that's very, very important for any entrepreneur is uh, you really never know uh, where things are going to take you. But it's so great, you know, to be open to it and just, uh, you know, maintain a life of prayer and gratitude and see where the Lord takes you. And uh, I'm so very blessed at um, where my life has ended up. I have a lot to be thankful for, for sure. Oh, we all do, David. David, we're thankful for you today. Uh, thank you, Dr. Leland. Thank you, Dr. Peck, for helping me out with those tech difficulties. You're so sharp. Uh, I appreciate all of you, David. The best is yet to come. We'll see you next time. And uh, may the Lord bless you, keep you, and shine his face upon you. Be gracious to you all the days of your life. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, you, David. Bye, everyone. Thank you. you.